be focusing on the frogs today and we're going to be making observations on the characteristics of the frog and writing down those observations. Do you know what the word characteristics means? Can anyone help me out with that? Karen? So it eats with its mouth. Very good. Camouflage. Camouflage. But in order to camouflage yourself, you have to be a certain what? Oh, somebody said it. Started with the another letter. Yes. Color. Okay, we're gonna be looking at its color. What do you use to walk with? Legs. Okay. Do you think that that's a characteristic that we need to observe in a frog? Okay, it's legs. Looking at it just in the tank, like you, or in the aquarium, like you made, the habitats that you made, sometimes you may not see all the characteristics of the frog that you can see when you have it in your hand and with your magnifying glass. Let's put this one right here. My favorite part of the lesson was when the children actually got to put the frogs into smaller cups. Put the lid on it. Here okay, you go. Now, who is your partner? You look at the mouth, the breathing. I don't get why their eyes are black either. They actually got to use the magnifying glasses and really make some more observations and things that they had not discovered before in, in the previous lessons. I wonder if it can make any noise. Do you can make any noise besides breathing? When all these materials arrived, they had everything in the kit that I needed. Um, all the materials for the experiments, it had a wonderful manual to go by, step-by-step -step procedures. As you are writing down your observations, you're also going to have another sheet. Use this recording sheet to help you to draw your picture. Tell me why you put, why you made your frog's feet like that. To swim. To swim and to jump. Okay, because it's speckled. It's not a solid color. Okay. And it wasn't something that they had in their mind of how the frog should look, but how it actually looked with the detail. So they started actually looking at the outline of the body of the frog, the web feet, how far apart the eyes were. I need to draw its eyes, but I didn't get to draw the whole outline because he keeps on moving. So you can see our chart is filled with all kinds of questions, and we're going to talk about those in just a minute. Science meetings are, I feel like, a good way to close a lesson. Either we're going to possibly research it, Find out the answer by researching it, observing, or what was the other thing? Experimenting. Research, observing, or experimenting. Um, it gives an opportunity for the children to come together at the end of the lesson to um, share their discoveries and to learn from each other by talking about it as a whole group. Why do they have big hind legs, big back legs? That was one of the questions. Russell, Especially in the science meetings, they are willing to share with each other. This unit lends itself for kids to be excited because they're living organisms that they're working with, and it has to do with the excitement of the whole unit and how it all works together and the discoveries that they're making.